back everyone. Thank you so much for being here again with me. My name is Dulcie and this is Dulcie's Creations, my crafting channel. So I want to take this opportunity before we get started on the next project to thank you all so very much for being here with me this year, for all your support, your likes and your comments. Please remember that I would appreciate you sharing the link to my YouTube channel with anyone you know who might enjoy my projects and learn something out of them. I want to also take this opportunity to wish you all a happy new year. May 2022 be filled with everything your hearts desire. But above all, let's pray and keep the faith that the planet will start healing itself so that we can visit all our loved ones, especially those that haven't had the opportunity. So with that, let's move on to the project. Let's craft. Happy new year, everyone. Bye for now. All right, so this canvas is a 50 by 70, 50 centimeters by 70. It's a 380 GSM. I got it at Aldi. Aldi was having a special on canvases, and you can't let that go. When you see a special, you buy. So I actually got this one at Aldi yesterday. I mean, I have a few canvases I could have used, but I got this one yesterday and I thought, oh, well, why not? Let's just do a project on it. So I've given it a, one coat of black already. I want to give it another coat because I can see, I can still see the canvas through it. I am doing the sides also while I'm at it. There you go. And now Amsterdam Acrylic Oxide Black. Black is the only cover, only color going on the canvas in this project. I mean, there will be other colors, um, but black is the only color going on the canvas itself. The thing about when it's black, if there's a little bit of canvas showing, you can tell immediately. So that is why we are doing a second coat. I'm hoping that will be sufficient but once it's dry and I'll let it dry overnight check back tomorrow and see how we are doing and this second layer is slightly thicker than the first one I put down so I am hoping that the coverage will be a lot better we are going to paint these in different colors red and I'm using two different reds to make up a nice one. Red, yellow, and I'm using Arteza Premium Pearl Canary Yellow and De La Rowney Primary Yellow. So I'm going to mix them two. And these, the red ones, is Pebio Rouge mm, Cardamom Red Hue and Arteza Re Rose Madder. It's one of my favorite colors iridescent green yellow marabou um, what color is this just says orange there go and then for blue i'm going to use some pearl turquoise arteza and pebio so those are the colors i'm going to use oh, i haven't i've only mixed the red so far because i wanted to first see how it turned out now why I've got them lined up like this is because red yellow orange green and blue what I am using is pieces of wood that we cut from some of the small branches that came down from the trees we cut down in the summer so I'm going to obviously paint the top part like that but I want to leave the sides with the bark as much as I can. So they will have a varnish, a coat of varnish over them. Maybe even a coat of resin so that the resin can maintain that integrity of the bark. But I'll see how it goes. Because I do want the colors to shine. So whether I'm going to varnish or just pour a thin coat of resin over it still haven't quite decided but I like this red it is perfect so then there will be other little pieces also this size so 
so as you can see they're slightly smaller to the main ones I might go over it and give it another coat so it actually looks nice and red but it, I like the way that red has turned out definitely going to need another coat green now I'm wondering if I shouldn't add a little bit of something darker and not just this oh, that's a lot anyway I do think I might add a little bit of in here but I have to say I just love this green one of my favorite colors like the yellow will probably need to give it a few coats the other day I was thinking I've always got just a note to say if you'd like to contribute and if you'd like to buy me a coffee now I have had a few people who have bought me coffees in the past. Now what I do with the, with the coffee money is I buy paints or I buy canvases. You know, it depends how much I've accumulated in, in the PayPal account where it gets paid into. If I sell anything, it also goes into that account. Nine out of ten, I'll just leave it in there anyway so that I can buy some more paints, buy some more canvases, resin, you know, all the things that I generally use for projects that I'll end up by showing you. So I was thinking, maybe some people think, you know, why would we buy anybody some coffee? We don't know what she's doing with the money. So I am going to put together an Amazon wish list for Dulcie's Creations. And what I'll do is on there, I'll list paints, Generally, when I'm running out of certain colors, I'll put it on there or I'll put on some paints that I'd like to have and I still haven't bought and would like to try them. Canvases, resin, all sorts, even paint brushes. And I thought, if you don't want to contribute and, um, you know, make it cash into PayPal, then maybe you can go into my Amazon wish list and, you know, buy me some supplies. I don't mind. So I just thought I'd put that out there. Let me know what you think. You know, is that a better option? Would you prefer to do that instead of buying me coffee? I'm, you know, just throwing out there and wondering how everybody would feel about that. But I will create the list and I will link it onto my, put it onto my links below. So if you do want to, you know, please go right ahead. I would love any help really when um, we're doing these kind of things and any help with crafting is always 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 welcome if you're a crafter out there you always know we're always broke there is never enough money for us so i think i'm going to leave the red look there at least you can still see those little lines of the wood definitely going to give the yellow another coat I think I'm going to leave the orange as is definitely give the green another coat and that blue is beautiful just the way it is so we'll leave that so we'll do those three colors so I thought I would do a voiceover for this part and as you will see I have taped the one side and then I take one of the sticks that I'm going to put down just to see where or how much of the tape I do need. I then go ahead and tape the other side, put a double thickness of the wide tape on both the long sides and then one down each of the short sides. So basically it's just so that I have a border to where I'm going to put my sticks and then be able to start sticking them. But as you Watch me, you'll see it will all make sense. Please enjoy. What I'm 
going to do now is I'm going to varnish all the circles and then once that is dried what I want to do is touch up a, a few spots of the canvas um, and some of the where the hot glue has come out I want to sort of paint it into black so it's more in well more like doesn't show up as much as what I mean I don't want to scratch it off because I'm afraid it might tear the canvas so what I'm going to do is just give all the top parts of all these bits a um, some varnish once that is dry I'll tap up, touch up the canvas like I say with some black and I actually had thought I'd taken all these bits off but clearly not and once I've touched up the canvas with some black I will then varnish the canvas as well and as you can see from scratching over here I've taken a little bit of the paint off so I need to just leave it alone and just touch it up with some black that's really all I need to do now the varnish I am using is Liquitex glass varnish so we'll get these done now what I also want to do is Give the sides also a varnish. And as you might have noticed earlier on, I'm definitely not in my shed. It's Christmas Day. We got a new addition to our family. Uh, we adopted a, a dog from Dogs Trust in Manchester. So we have a husky girl. She's four years old. And we got her on the 11th of December and one because she's new to us we also couldn't find any kennels or any dog sitters to look after her so Jim has gone to his family and I've stayed home to look after Layla now you might be wondering why not just take her well unfortunately one member of the family doesn't really like dogs and after all it is their home so we respect their wishes but that's okay because then I've stayed home and crafted and had fun with my girl she's actually sleeping now I'm surprised she hasn't gotten up to come and check what I'm up to considering I'm talking I'm very surprised she's not up and about but there you go so i hope you have all had a wonderful christmas with family um, or friends and i hope you are all staying safe if you want to tell me what you did for christmas please do leave comments below i'd love to know about your christmases it's always good to hear about what other people do for christmas spoke to my grandchildren um, well two of them anyway the other two are only texted We'll be speaking to them at the end of the year so just before new year's but to both my daughters did try to call my son but he doesn't seem to be available so i'll keep trying him my parents last night it's been a good one definitely quiet but it's been a good one Remember to stay to the very end for some pictures and thank you so very much for being here with me. Remember, wherever in the world you are, please stay safe, stay well and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.